Hello, welcome to buildingrigsforplans.co.uk. We're going to take you through the basics of creating a specification. First of all, uh, have a look on the left hand side of that page and you see there's a column entitled Building Rigs and Specifications and Detail Drawings. Below there, there are the six uh, links to the six web apps that you can use to create uh, depending on which kind of specification you're going to need. Also, for the first four, house extension, loft conversion, garage conversion and new build, there are individual England and Wales versions to meet the English and Welsh building regulations. I'm going to create a house extension for uh, to meet the English building regulations, so I'm going to click on that England button in the house extension box and that's going to take me to the house extension building notes page for England. Now uh, on the left hand side I've got a list of categories there what you'd normally do is work through these categories you don't have to do it in any order and uh, I'm going to start off with planning permitted development I click on that as soon as I click on that you see in the middle column I get a subheading come up there's only one so I'll just click on that England and you see that it's come up with a specification that's my planning note so if I click on that add note to note list button you see how that now appears in the right hand column so that's the start of my specification uh, next I'm going to go for general notes in the left hand category column and I'm going to click on party wall note in the middle and I'm going to also add that into my note list so in this way you can work down through these headings adding in the specifications as you go um, structure, I'm going to click on existing structure I'm going to add that I'm just really picking them at random here, but I'm going to go through it. I've got a foundations uh, category on the left, so I've got that gives me a choice of four subheadings. I'm going to go for a strip foundation. I'm going to add that into my note list. Now you see on the right hand column, I'm just going to scroll down. That's where my specs have been added. As soon as that uh, text area gets full up, you see how a scroll bar now appears there, which allows me to scroll down. I can see all of my specifications that I've added in. Um, okay, I'm going to next in the category column on the left, I'm going to go for ground floors. I'm going to go for a timber suspended floor. I'm just going to click that as the joint. You see here you get a, a little subheading which tells you the next criteria that you're looking at. So I'm going to choose that 47 by 100 joint size and a span of 2.1 meter and I'm going to add that into my list on the right you notice also um, this is a premium subscription so that gives me access to the detailed drawings if you were on standard subscription you'd still get a link there to the drawings but you'd actually have to purchase them you could add them into your basket instead of having a download button it would say add to basket um, what you can do with this drawing, you can just check out, if you click on the thumbnail, you just get a small sample drawing which uh, just allows you to check it out. And then I'm going to download that drawing now. now I'm going to click on this. You see that gives me an option of uh, three formats for that drawing. I've got the DWG, the JPEG and the DXF. I'm going to choose the DWG, so I'm just going to click on that link and that allows me to save that drawing. It depends what kind of browser you're using here. I'm using Internet Explorer. It may give you a different way of saving it, but uh, so I'm going to click on Save As. I'm going to save that in my folder to my hard drive. Now, once I've done that, you can just close that dialog, and then I'm going to move on to the next section, External Wall. So you see, you just work your way through these headings, choosing the specs that you need in the subcategories. Go for Lightweight Block for that. Fulfilling cavity and I go for dry therm. Okay, and I go add that note into my list, and you see that appears at the bottom of my note list. Okay, once I've finished adding those specs, once I've got all the specs I need, you're normally going to need a lot more than this, but this is just a sample. So, what I'm going to do is because I'm going to say that's finished, so I'm just going to export that. Now I've got several options here. I can copy it to the clipboard and paste it into another program, such as my CAD program or Notepad. There's a PDF exporter. Now that we're going to have another tutorial to take you through using that, but I'm going to use the toText function. 
So if I click onto text, see I can preview that all my specifications in this dialog and then when I've decided that's fine I'm just going to click on export and again I'm going to save that this will save it as a txt file now that could be opened in notepad on a windows machine or if you're using a mac you could uh, use text edit for example to open that and that's my specification created and exported